Okay, so to work out the surface area of a cylinder, I need to open it out so I can see the net. So I'm going to have a circle, which is going to be this where that side's come from. I'm going to have a rectangle, which would have been this side flattened out. And then I'm going to have a second circle, which is the same as the top one, if this is a cylinder, from the bottom. Okay, it's going to be down here. Okay, and then we have three shapes. We've got a circle here, and a circle here, and a rectangle here. So we have a formula to work out the area of a circle. Okay, that's simply pi r squared. So the area of this circle is pi r squared, and that's the same as this one, pi r squared. And the only difficulty comes when we're trying to work out the area of, of um, this rectangle here. Okay. Now this length here, this height, um, this height here, is the same as this here. So whatever that is, that's the same. So I'm just going to call that h for height. And then this length across here is going to be this length here. It's the same as the distance around the outside of the circle. And we've got a formula for that as well. It's pi times diameter, pi d. So the surface area is going to be the area of the circle, pi r squared, plus this area of the circle, pi r squared. That's two lots of pi r squared. Plus the area of this rectangle. Now that rectangle is going to be this length here, times by this length here. So it's going to be h times pi d. Now I want to work out the surface area of this cylinder. Now, we could just try to remember that formula from the last page, but unfortunately, we tr it would just cram our brains through full of too many formula. It would be silly. So let's just do it bit by bit. So two circles, the circle top and bottom, pi r squared. Now again, we've got the diameter here, not the radius. The radius equals 12 divided by 2, which is 6. So pi r squared is going to be pi times 6 squared, which is pi times 36, which is about 113. And then um, there's two of those, because that's here and here from the top and the bottom. So I want two of those. So at the bottom we've got 113.097. And then I need the rectangle bit. So the height's the same, so that's 40. And remember this length here is pi d, so that's 12 times pi. And type that into my calculator, 40 times 12 times pi, we get 1507.96, and that's going to get added on on there. So we add those all together, 1734.16 centimetres squared. Now it's probably a good idea to round that to three significant figures, it's three important numbers, so that would be 1730 centimetres squared.